Hello everyone, if you're new to my channel, my channel's Cooking Mom, and today I'm going to be making some rutabaga. Rutabagas. <laughs> I just have one, and I'm going to cook that. All you're going to need is some salt and pepper, and I've got some fat back grease in the jar. I'm going to use that, and um, and then, like I said, if, and if you're new to my channel and you like my videos, go on there and hit that subscribe button, like, comment, and share. I um, also want to give a shout out to... Uh, one of my, a couple of my new subscribers. Okay, let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to peel this here rutabaga. And they sometimes hard to peel and cut, so. Okay. I'm going to try this here paring knife. It's like I said, it's, <laughs> it's to give your hands a workout. And, um. Rutabaga is good if it's cooked right and seasoned right. So, anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna pe finish peeling this and I'll get it chopped up and then we'll come back and I'll get ready to start cooking it. So, okay, I got my rutabaga peeled and washed. So, here comes the fun part and now we're gonna chop it up. You got to get you a, a sharp knife. And I'm just cutting it in like circular motions. Be careful so you don't cut your hand. So, and like I said, I'm just doing one today because this is going to be for, oops, <laughs> going to be for two people. And this, um, I believe it's a little riper because it's not quite as hard. I bought it last week, but it's still good. So I'm cutting in little kind of squares like. I love, I love rutabaga. <laughs> a lot of people don't care for it, but I do. I'll cut that in a... <laughs> Some of these other pieces I can cut a little bit smaller. Maybe like that one. And it'll give you a, it'll give you a good bit. All right, now that's pretty much good sized pieces. So anyway, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put them in my pot and I'm gonna put some water in. And I'm gonna put a little bit of um, fat back grease and some salt and pepper. And you can use um, bacon grease if you prefer bacon grease. It's whatever you prefer to cook it with. But both of it gives it good flavor. So anyway, I'm gonna I'm just gonna salt me some pepper in it. I mean, salt me some salt in it. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm going to put some, some pepper in it. I'm going to get my grease. Get my grease. Put about a teaspoon to start. You can always add more. And I'm going to fill it probably to, to about right there. To above the, um, to above the, um, rutabagas. Okay, I got the water level filled up just enough to cover them. I'm going to put them on the boil, and then we'll come back. Okay, my um, rutabagas is getting close to coming to a boil. They're getting hot. They're not there yet, but they'll be there in just a minute. And I'll show you when to get there. Okay, um, rutabagas are starting to boil. You see my pepper moving around. So I'm going to let these boil for a little while, and then we'll come back. Okay, they're boiling good now. All right, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna, I've got them on about seven. And I'm gonna put my lid on there. And this, this lid's got some holes in it. So I'm gonna put it where it, some of that steam can come out so it won't boil over. So, and I'm gonna let them boil for like 15 minutes and then I'll come back. Like I said, I got them on um, seven on my setting. So, okay, um, I my 
my brutabag has been boiling for a good 15 minutes and um, all I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna turn them I'm gonna turn them off and I'm gonna take my lid but I'm gonna turn it and it's gonna be a little bit that might can seep out but um and I'm gonna let them sit now okay I let my um rutabaga sit for about an hour and they were pretty much done so when you get ready to heat it back up to serve just heat it about 10 more minutes and it'll be completely done. Okay. All right, here is my rutabagas. And see, you cut them with a fork. They just as tender. And you want them to turn. It'll turn a kind of a gold-looking color when they're good and done. So... And they they good, <laughs> but like I said, all you gotta do is just I boiled them like 15 minutes. I cut them off with the lid on, let them sit for about an hour, and when you get ready to serve them, just turn them back on and let them heat up good for maybe like five or ten minutes. But it also depends on how ripe your um rutabaga is, and mine was pretty ripe. So, but that's just a quick way to um cook them and um. You know, you just turn it off and let them sit, and they're kind of cooking their own steam. So, but anyway. They cook just right. So, anyway, like I said, I hope you like my videos. And if you do, go on there and hit that subscribe button. Like, comment, and share. And thanks for watching. And I'm having me some more. Mm-mm.